labels everybody today has a label particularly kids in school they're labeled everybody's labeled 75 to 80 percent of children in school are labeled i'm labeled i'm a polar bear that's kind of like being in business up and down all day like bipolar except i'm just riddled with add i have a label you know some genius soon though will suggest i think that those who do do, do not have a label let's label them to tell people they are not labeled if you follow all that, that's something a liberal should grab a hold of and make it work. Hey, <laughs> Trudeau, his new cabinet and him, they got together the other day and they said, let's focus on a green economy and climate change. Really? That's all you got? You're going to spend our money doing that kind of stuff? A lot of stuff to focus on. I don't think that's it. The West wants out. There's an Alberta separatist group now called uh, W Exit Canada, and they're seeking federal political party status. You know what? If you want to separate guys, that ain't the way to do it. I mean, you're just going to have another party. It's going to take you years and a lot of work. Separate. You want to separate? Have a vote. Separate. I have a meeting coming up here in a few days with a whole bunch of guys that want to separate. They want me to help them with regard to separation. And I said, OK, I can sit down with you and do that. And it's simple again. You just do it. It's about the people. What are you going to do? Ask the government if you can form a party and do this and do that. Long, long process. Actress Pamela Anderson. <laughs> She's now asked the private stake candidate to take meat and milk off of the menus for prisoners who are in jail. Save money and make them better. Make them healthier. <laughs> she says the federal penitentiaries should serve vegan meals of beans, rice, and fruit, and so on. Pamela, you and I have had this talk. And... Uh, Leave it alone. You know what? We don't all want to live on fried pickles and stuff like that. Here's a guy in Toronto. He's a conservative uh, member of parliament. And he says that my party should rethink its approach to LGBTQ issues if it wants to uh, have a good message to resonate with voters. <laughs> he's a self-identified LGB blah, 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 candidate, and he's openly gay, and, and who cares? Like, guys like him make me crazy. Why do you keep talking about stuff like that? Do you really think you'll get more votes if you stand up there and say, hey, there's a little minority group, we're in favor. They have rights. Gay people have rights. Purple people have rights. Leave it alone. I mean, talk about the country. You don't need to talk about little groups of people about and about how they live. We don't care how they vote, we care, but, but by embracing them and saying, hey, vote for me and I promise I'll be gay too someday. I mean, that's not how you do it. That's just dumb. And then you have a, uh, in Canada, am I pronouncing that correctly? They now have said, we're leaving Canada. We're going to take the name uh, Canada out of our name. We're going to change our name and we're leaving because you people are ran by socialists. So let's drill down and kind of analyze who they are. Firstly, Peter Lougheed was a progressive conservative, and so many people said, hey, he's right wing. I don't think so. I, he went out and bought an airline, Canadian Airlines, with taxpayer money. He built golf courses with taxpayer money. He did a lot of things, and he formed a company called the Alberta Energy Company. In 1973, the government owned it. Later, it changed its name to Encana. Who knew? <laughs> and, and then he said, I'm going to go public now. And I'm going to let the Alberta people buy back what they already own. Another socialist trick. And that happened. And now the company's moving. I wonder how many shares of that company today are actually owned by the Alberta government, directly or indirectly. Indirectly can be by way of pension funds and so many different ways. We're not hearing a lot from the Alberta government, particularly Mr. Kenny. What's going on? I mean, are they leaving just because of the prime mistake? Are they leaving for other reasons? You know what? Government should not be in business, and certainly government shouldn't interfere with the free marketplace. But when you have something like this going on, I don't know. I mean, the taxpayer just seems to get beat up all of the time. It's time for uh, people in government that, that work for the people. And what's right is right, what's wrong is wrong, and so many of these guys are wrong. I shouldn't focus so much on the Canada, but that's Alberta, and that's a federal thing, and I get it. It's a lot deeper than just talking about a guy who was premier 40 years ago, but it's always something to consider when you want to have a better country. I think i got to run. You know what? <laughs> I've often said the only reason I would run for politics is so I could find out the names of all the women I slept with 40 years ago, right? <laughs> but anyway, uh, will I run? I don't know, but I'm sure playing with it. When I look at all of the things that are going on in this country, in Canada, 
just makes me shake my head because uh, there's so much to gain and so much to do. Hey, y'all come back. See ya.